Do it now. Stop waiting for tomorrow or the day after tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, tomorrow or tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow or next week or next year. It will be more efficient. It will be more easier. Have you noticed something? Every time we say, every time we say, you know what? Ah, it's just not convenient. I'm, I can't do it right now. It's just, I just, I have too much going on. It's, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I just don't have the time. I just don't have this. I just don't have that. You will stay in the same place. It's as simple as that. You will never ever progress if you keep on putting something off, procrastinating, saying it's just not comfortable. I can't do it right now. I just don't have. You will just be there. And so, look, I'm not trying to berate anybody. I'm not trying to talk down on anybody. But I truly believe that if we stop thinking about things to always get to a place when we're when it's convenient for us, we will actually start seeing growth. We will actually start seeing life change for ourselves. And this is not just, I'm not just saying this to y'all. I'm also saying it to myself as well. Getting the, out of the mindset of, I need this thing to be convenient for me. Convenience kind of traps us. Convenience traps us a lot of the time. Comfort traps us a lot of the time. So we have to find ways to remove comfortability and to be okay in living in discomfort. I remember a song by a guy named Andy Minio. It's called Uncomfortable. And he was like, one of the lines was like, he had slipped so far and he thinks he got too comfortable. He got so comfortable with all this stuff. So you have to create ways to be uncomfortable and be okay with being uncomfortable. Like I always think about like medical school students. They have to get to a point where they are comfortable with taking these insane exams where they are comfortable with reading books to the point where they start to enjoy it. I think about it. They go to school, they hate reading, and then some of them hate reading. But then through the process, along the line, something happens in their brain. The school just opens their head and does something with their brain where they start to enjoy talking about these medical things, start to enjoy reading these medical articles, start to enjoy reading research papers, start to enjoy reading these medical massive books, start to enjoy the nastiness that's inside our body. But guess what drove them to that point? They got comfortable with being uncomfortable. Get to the point where you are comfortable in your discomfort. Talk to anybody that works out. You're sore a lot. You have to do excess stretches so that you're, you're for you, if you're like me, I have a lot of lower back pain a lot of the time when I do exercises. So I have to do all kinds of stretches. And then on the weekend, sometimes I wake up and I'm sore. But look, I'm okay with the discomfort because you have to get to the point where being uncomfortable is comfortable. You have to get to the point where you're okay with waking up when you come out of the gym and being sore. You have to get okay with waking up in the early in the morning so you can worship God, read your Bible, and do all that kind of good stuff before you get out of the house. You have to get okay with reading a lot of different books so that you can learn more about the things that are going on in the world around you. You have to get okay with, I'm going to drop this last one. You have to get okay with giving. Because I truly believe that the moment we stop grabbing onto our money, start holding it like, oh my gosh, I cannot let this thing go. And we open it more. It gives us the opportunity to receive more. So get to the point where you are comfortable with being uncomfortable. And break yourself out of the mindset game that keeps you locked up in the same place that has refused to let you progress and get to where you need to be. Yes, I understand this whole crazy corona situation, but sometimes the worst situations give way for the greatest things to happen in life. Use this time as an opportunity for greatness. Do not stay in the same place. Do not come out of this corona situation the exact same way that you were before we entered this thing. Something has to change. 